Good day! On this video, we will try to connect to Microsoft Azure using our PIC IoT board. Before we do that, we have to set up our environment. Let's go to install the development tools. To make sure our computer is ready for this process. MPLAB XIDE, the compiler, we need Git. We need the IoT provisioning tool. Let's try to download this. This is the latest one. I have pre-downloaded that and this is what we will see. Let's see the instructions. We need to execute this. So Let me open up that file. By the way, I need to disable my antivirus because it detects this as a virus. All right, everything is set up. Let's put this here. And we should execute this command. Oops, I forgot to plug in our board. There we go. As you can see, our board is booting up. We need to make sure that the board boots up as Curiosity Data Gateway. And the COM port also has the Curiosity name because our tool will search for this. And if it doesn't enumerate as a COM port, as a Curiosity COM port, this process will fail. Let's try it again. All right, it's done. Now we have provisioned the board. Let's proceed with the other installations. So we need Python, Azure CLI, and Phi Azure Utils from Microchip. If we install this, I've already installed that, but let's try it again. And we can verify using. All right, it is properly installed. If your PIP is not updated, you will see this error. If you see this error, you cannot build it and there's an installation error, just update your PIP using this command. Now that's done, let's proceed with using Azure IoT Central because it is the recommended one. I will close the other, oops. It's not that. Here, this is the one that we should follow. All right, plug and play demo. We need to clone the repository. I want a separate folder for this. Let me just set this up. Now I want to All right, I'm going to see the inside and then we need to execute this sub module update to successfully build the project. If we don't do this, we will encounter build issues on the downloaded project. While it's doing that, I'm going to open my MPLAB X. As you can see here, it downloaded the Azure SDK. Sweet. All right. It has successfully downloaded that. And now I want to build. This is the project I used earlier. Let me just close that one. My board is originally for Google Cloud. That's why it's Pick IoT WG. Open project. This is the folder that we just updated. This is the project. Let's open it. Let's do a quick test and build it. All right, build successful. Once we did that, we can now have 
you can see here inside the project it's the hex file we can drag and drop this to our board but I just prefer to program it it really depends on your preference programming complete the board has boot up it is now connecting to Wi-Fi however let me just find that this is the default Wi-Fi credentials that the board will try to connect but don't worry we don't have to do that because we can use command line to input these parameters Oops. The Wi-Fi SSID is AC one six four one sixty underscore AP. Make sure there are no spaces and other special characters on your access point name, except for the underscore. Password is GN one two three. Security option is WPA. I forgot to issue the debug command. So you can see the LEDs are blinking. It, is, it has connected to the access point. This would be the next phase. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.